Hi guys, wine tuber here. Have you ever experienced that your wine smells of musty cardboard or moldy cellar? If so, that means your wine was corked. If you want to avoid that experience in the future, you should get a bottle of wine with screw cap, synthetic or diam cork. But what is diam and how it works? Let's find out. Fun fact before we start, did you know that the screw cap wines can be also corked? Technically this is possible, especially on the low hygienic winery, as TCA, which is the cork taint, can easily contaminate. But I have never personally experienced screw cap wine that was corked. If your wine smells like moldy cellar, or more likely dusty cardboard, it means it's cork. It means it's affected by fungus called trichloroanisole, simply called TCA. That TCA, also called cork tain, is a chemical compound and it's caused by the crossing of chlorine and the plant phenols, which are organic compounds. As cork are made from the bark on an oak tree, TCA can rise there but also in the oak bars or pallets that can be found at the winery. Diam corks, like any other corks, are made from the bark from the cork oak tree. And the oak tree are mostly planted in the south of Portugal. Diam is a high technological wine cork treated by patented diamond process. The key part of the diamond process is extracting TCA and other compounds by supercritical CO2 that deeply penetrates the honey structure of the cork at control temperature. How to identify diam corks? The logo is just there. By the way, diam corks are also available in different levels, actually different sizes. The higher the number, the longer aging ability of the wine. The lowest diam is 2 and the higher it's 30. There are also diam 3, 5 and 10. It's good to know that diam also producing cork for sparkling and fortify wine. And more info can be found in the description. Fun fact, did you know that cork wine is also drinkable and won't hurt you? But because of that dusty smell, it's really unpleasant to drink. The best thing you can do is simply return the bottle to your local supplier, your local wine merchants and get the new one. What I will also do, I will probably get the different wine just in case the entire batch of this wine was also corked. It's also good to know that statistically less than 4% of the wines are corked. So the risk of getting dusty wine is quite low. So I leave it completely up to you if you want to still continue to purchase wine with the regular cork or maybe switch to Diam. By the way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.